Yeah. She was a good friend. Dear Tim and Moby, My sister died, and we were really close. I don't know how to let go of her. How can I grieve? From Megan. I'm sorry to hear about your loss, Megan. It's hard to make peace with the fact that someone you love is gone. That's what mourning is, and it can be a slow, painful process. Fortunately, though, the rituals of mourning can be uplifting and comforting. Well, the details vary from culture to culture, but they also share a lot in common. The mourning process usually begins with a funeral, where family and friends gather to say goodbye. I remember when my grandmother died. It didn't really hit me that she was gone until the funeral. My mother gave a eulogy, a personal speech about my grandmother, and what made her special. Well, like I said, different cultures mourn in different ways. For instance, Christian mourners often hold a wake or viewing where the deceased's body or casket may be visited. In Islamic tradition, the deceased is bathed and wrapped in simple cloth, and then the members of the community gather to say prayers. In Hindu cultures, the body of the dead is decorated with flowers and then taken to a special spot to be cremated or burned. The remains are often then floated down a river. After Jewish funerals, mourners observe or sit Shiva. During Shiva, family members of the deceased stay home for one week, during which time visitors arrive to pay their respects and comfort mourners. Right, people may continue to remember the dead in a variety of ways. In many cultures, people show their in mourning by wearing black or dark colors. For members of the Hindu and Buddhist faiths, white is the traditional color. In some traditions, mourners go without little pleasures, like hot showers or nice meals. Well, a lot of these customs may sound kind of strange, but that's sort of the point. Since these are things we don't ordinarily do, they remind us of those we lost. Oh yeah, there are traditions for public mourning, too, when entire populations grieve. State funerals commemorate the death of a political leader or other public figure. During these, it's common for the body to be displayed so that thousands of mourners can file by to pay their respects. And after a tragedy that claims many lives, a country may observe a national day of mourning with private and public ceremonies held around the land. We often build memorials to commemorate these events so that generations can come and continue to pay tribute. Like private services, public ceremonies help mourners understand that they're not alone in their grief. When individuals can connect their feelings with the rest of a community, it gives them a sense of support. Still, grieving is a personal process, so it's okay to find your own way to mourn. Well, it's not unusual to feel sad, angry, or even guilty about someone's death. However you're feeling, you should know that it's okay to let your emotions out. One of the most common ways people express their emotions is by crying. For others, simply talking to others is a great help. Your friends, parents, or other adults you trust are good for that. Some people write letters to the dead or talk to them when they're alone. Others might pray or listen to a particular song. Still others might create scrapbooks of the person's life or, or make some other kind of personal memorial. In the longer term, families often put up some kind of permanent memorial, like a gravestone, a shrine, a planted tree, or a public structure like, like a park bench. These give mourners a place to gather and remember the dead for years to come. Yeah, it's not uncommon to keep a special date to honor the dead. Some cultures even have annual holidays for it. In Mexico, it's known as the Day of the Dead. Families visit cemeteries and clean and decorate graves with offerings and flowers. In Japan, families gather every year for the Obon Festival. This involves caring for ancestors' graves and, at the end, floating paper lanterns down rivers to symbolize the ancestors' return to the spirit world. Well, mourning isn't just about grieving the passing of a loved one. It can also celebrate a person's life. For example, in a New Orleans jazz funeral, a brass band accompanies mourners to the cemetery playing sad music. After the burial, they march down the street playing upbeat songs while mourners and onlookers dance. 
Right. There's no one way to grieve. So if someone you know has lost someone, just be there for them. You may feel like you should avoid people who are mourning, but in many cases, that's the time when they need you the most. So let them know you're there if they need you. It's best to follow the mourner's lead. If they want to talk about the dead, share your thoughts or memories. If not, talk about something else. You know, Moby, I think talking about all this has helped me feel a little better. Well, we all drew flowers to commemorate our friend who passed away. She was your friend, too. Do, do you want to add one of your own? <laughs>